and you don't have to like memorize what exactly a particular design pattern do what are the situations in which you can apply a particular design pattern before heading towards design pattern you need to learn solid principles i'm going to talk about one very simple thing that i noticed while i was preparing and learning low level design this is something that i apply to my own preparation in low level design interviews this is something that also helps me in my day to day coding work as well hello everyone i am sanket singh and welcome back to my channel so guys this is going to be a pretty interesting video a lot of comments i got on a few of my recent videos where i talked about my own interview experience regarding the machine coding and low level design in a lot of comments a lot of people were actually asking that how i used to actually approach these kind of llt problems so in this particular video i'm going to talk about one very simple thing that i noticed while i was preparing and learning low level design and i believe this simple and straightforward thing can help you to understand a lot of design patterns and instead of you just rote learning those design patterns you will be able to actually figure out some of the problems that a situation can have and then try to apply a design pattern accordingly so this is going to be a pretty informative video and this is something that i have figured out myself this is something that i apply to my own preparation in low level design interviews this is something that also helps me in my day to day coding work as well so without any further ado let's just start and let's start talking about how i actually asked, mastered low level design and design patterns but before moving there if you have not yet subscribed to the channel this might be a good time because we are going to put a lot of interesting content on the channel regarding your tech journey and career so without any further ado let's just start and let's start talking about how exactly i mastered low level design so before moving forward i would like to discuss about a brand new offering that we have at algo camp so if you are somebody who already knows software development and are very much intrigued by the crazy amount of stuff that you can actually develop using the knowledge of your software development then this is going to be something interesting for you so if you are somebody who loves to take deeper dive into everything and wants to understand that how exactly scalable systems are developed not just on the high level part but on the low level coding implementation part as well then we have actually launched our brand new system design course which which includes both the low level design aspect and the high level design aspect of the scalable systems in this particular course with respect to hld we are going to talk about a lot of systems including system design of things like uber streaming systems like netflix how you can actually design your own ad click aggregator how you can design scalable notifications how you can you design code deployment systems and many more there are tons and tons of high level design problems that we have added apart from that there are a lot of interesting system design concepts that we have actually added including design patterns like saga pattern anti corruption layer pattern we have also added orchestration pattern and some other interesting aspects around caching layer blob storages and what not this is going to be a power packed course for high level design and along with that there is low level design as well where we are going to talk about solid principle we are going to talk about tons and tons of different design patterns and we are going to solve a lot of problems including designing your own logger designing kind of like a chess game designing kind of like a book my show system a split wise and what not this low level design part is going to technically prepare you for any kind of a low level design or object oriented interview as well as for your machine coding interviews as well this is going to be a definitely a power packed live course where we are going to talk about everything end to end in system design and we have also added some additional topics around concurrency and testing as well so what are you waiting for all the details about this particular course is actually mentioned in the description section below go there check it out and use this particular coupon code to actually get the maximum possible discount and see you guys in the course that being said let's go back to the video so see i'll just come straight forward towards the point so if you want to actually make sure that you understand most of the design patterns and you don't have to like memorize what exactly a particular design pattern do what are the situations in which you can apply a particular design pattern before heading towards design pattern you need to learn solid principles now trust me on this the solid principles the five solid principles are actually the foundations and the basis of most of the design patterns that you are going to see right when i talk about solid principles i am including everything the single responsibility principle open close principle lisk of substitution principle interface segregation principle and dependency inversion principle these five principle actually lay down the foundation of everything that you see in design patterns as i mentioned most of the design patterns that you are going to pick what you will realize that to apply that design pattern whatever is the situation in that particular situation there will be some or other kind of a solid pattern or solid design principle which will be getting violated 
right every time like you can notice like take it like a strategy pattern take it like a command pattern state pattern what you will realize is that if you go with a very naive and a brute for brute force solution to those kind of problems what you will realize is in some or other way any one of the solid principles or more than one of the solid principles will be getting violated and the moment you realize why a particular solid principle violates that will be the point you will be able to structure the design patterns yourself as well right like everything like solid in so, solid principle the single responsibility principle the open close principle list of every principle has some specific statements in itself right for example when you talk about interface segregation principle now interface segregation principle is indeed for the fact that you are in a situation where having multiple interfaces prepared can help you get out of the situation and the moment you realize that interface segregation principle is getting violated and you already know the solution to the interface segregation principle you will realize that you don't need to like again memorize any specific design pattern right you take any example like if you take the example of strategy pattern you will realize that in strategy pattern also all of these solid principle concepts some or the other way are getting violated right and if you know how to resolve the violation of a particular solid principle then you will eventually realize that strategy pattern is nothing but a simple implementation of all of these violations right this is something that you have to always keep in mind so if you are actually starting your journey into learning design patterns i would say spend maybe a week or two if you want on solid principle explore as much as situations around solid principles and see when they can get violated and how these violations can be solved the moment you learn that a lot of design patterns will be actually sorted for you yes there will be some design patterns which will be kind of like out of uh, like not exactly very much related there can be a few but most of them you will realize is gonna somewhere lie around this particular kind of a situation it's like the how the way you learn dsa in dsa also i generally recommend people to not just keep treating every single problem as a separate new problem there are some certain pattern of problems that are actually evolved into newer problems altogether if you know those patterns then solving newer problems becomes relatively easy same thing you need to technically apply here as well now the second very important point that you have to always keep in mind that all the basis of low level design comes from the basic object oriented programming and two to three most important object oriented principles are polymorphism inheritance and composition you technically need to understand why do you need polymorphism in which situation polymorphism can be helpful right because a lot of design patterns are going to be actually uh, i would say dependent on the policies and the intricacies of polymorphism apart from that you need to understand when inheritance is required when composition is required when can you shuffle up between them why one is better why other is not better and so on this will actually help you a lot in your interviews as well because in a lot of time like for example what what can happen in a in an interview and this has happened to me as well in my flipkart interviews as well that maybe what you will do is you will try to apply a design principle or a design pattern and you will solve the problem the interviewer can ask you that why you went ahead with composition why you didn't go ahead with uh, i would say inheritance or vice versa so these kind of answers should be there with you if you understand in what kind of situations composition is better than inheritance if you understand the vice versa situation if you understand in what kind of situations polymorphism will be better this will actually help you to sail through a lot of interviews and understand the design principles even better now the third and the most important thing that i believe you should always take care of is that whenever you are learning any solid principle design patterns any kind of object oriented principle you should try to see in actual real life scenarios in actual real life projects in actual real life code bases where do you see those situations coming up right for example you learn facade patterns think about where you have seen facade classes coming up in places and helping you all together if you see strategy pattern think about where you have seen strategy classes coming into the place and what other places you can see right same thing like for example builder pattern so a lot of time when i teach builder pattern or when i discuss about builder pattern i always try to make sure that i tell you the um, i would say applications of builder pattern for example if at any point of time you have done interaction network interactions through grpc so in grpc you prepare your models generally using protocol buffers now the good part about grpc is that when you write a protocol buffer it automatically creates all the classes for your protocol buffers and it also create the builder classes for them that's a direct application of builder pattern altogether because you get those builder classes using which you can create your final eventual objects right you will see a lot of libraries helping you to use builder uh, pattern only in order to create the objects altogether and not just in languages like java or c++ but in other languages as well 
So this is something that you have to always keep in mind that whenever you learn a design pattern, instead of just because a lot of time if you see the online tutorials or uh, some of the famous books, they take very casual examples like some birds are there, some ducks are there, some animals are there and so on. That's not how real life coding is technically done, right? If you want to understand design patterns properly, you should try to think that in real life scenarios where it can be applied. Maybe think about some payment system in which you can apply that particular kind of a pattern. Maybe think about some kind of a, uh, I would say booking system where you can actually design, apply that pattern and so on. Try to think of real applications, real classes, real, I would say interfaces. Uh, instead of thinking about just some random book examples because book examples are easy to understand things in a simple way but if you understand things in a simple way that's good up to a certain level you have to then memorize it but if you understand how a design principle can be applied in a real life application how uh, interface segregation how dependency inversion actually works in real life projects for example you take a spring boot project and try to build up things and then understand a lot of things you will eventually learn it for a longer period of time and like you don't have to like memorize it because you have seen the applications and you can just remember the applications eventually all the principles all the design patterns will be automatically fitted in your mind so these are the three very important things that i did in order to make sure that i understand design principles design patterns very well and i'm able to apply all of those in my low level design and machine coding interviews as well so Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below if you agree to all of these three points or not. And if you have any other thoughts or any other tricks that you technically apply to master your LED, um, I would say preparation, do drop that in the comment section below. I would say that would be helpful for the wider audience as well. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here and we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we are going to continue discussion on some really more awesome tech related stuff. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.